I'm the kind of person who generally isn't the very first to download a software update as soon as they're released. I guess I'm the kind of person who hopes other people will work out the bugs. But in the case of Evernote's latest software update, 10.60.4, I got it as soon as it was available to me. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. Let's look at Evernote's latest update, 10.60.4. In addition to tips on using Evernote features, I like to explain updates as they come out. Uh, that may be reason enough, I hope, for you to subscribe to my YouTube series and hit that button below. I think it's safe to say that there have been a lot of issues with Evernote since 10.6 was first released. The tech people have been hearing our concerns. I mean, how could they not when all the forums have been blowing up with complaints and issues? As an Evernote expert, I was on a call recently when staff members explained that fixing problems is their number one priority. Now, we'd all like a magic wand to fix everything overnight, but I've never seen a manufacturer do that. So let's take a look at the latest release. Here's a post from Federico Simonato, who is uh, an executive with Bending Spoons, the new owners of Evernote. And uh, about a week ago, he published this to the forums. The forums are a good place to always get the inside information on uh, on the latest releases, and I've noticed that they're trying to add more detail now to uh, what's in each new release. So, as he says here, they've uh, they've fixed five things in this uh, in this uh, release. They fixed audio loss when you're moving a note during a recording. Uh, not something that I've noticed, but I haven't done a lot of audio recording lately. They fixed the tag deletion modal to include subtags. I noticed subtags were missing there for a while, uh, but now they're back. Um, occasionally, you might have gotten a message that said, search failed, try again later. Uh, when uh, filtering uh, tags and subtags, that's been fixed. Uh, this happened to me several times. Uh, when I was loading a note, it would say note unavailable. They say that's fixed. And uh, this is one that a lot of people noticed, including me. And uh, that was if you were searching uh, in notebook view, you would get a message that said, you don't have permission to access that note, hmm. even though I had created it. But that has now been fixed. As Federico says, if you still notice these problems or any other problems, please report the issue. It says here that this was a phased rollout over the last seven days, again, this was posted about a week ago. So by now, uh, I would guess that everyone has the new 10.60.4 uh, rollout. But if for some reason you have not, um, as he suggests, you can go to evernote.com slash download and you can uh, automatically grab this latest release. I guess learning to update to the latest version of Evernote is a good idea. Not too long ago, I was having a problem with PDFs. I tried everything. I finally put in a help ticket, and sometime later, I got an email in which they said they could tell I was running an old version. <laughs> How embarrassing. I mean, as an Evernote uh, expert, I'm supposed to know what I'm doing, right? <laughs> Oops. So look, if for some reason you haven't received the 10.60.4 update, you can go to evernote.com slash download and you'll find it there. And if you run into a problem with a feature, you should file a trouble report. I've heard some people say, oh, I never hear back from them. I found it takes a while to hear from them and that's because they look into and try to fix the issue. But I've been told by lots of Evernote folks that problems are not being ignored. I continue to teach how to use Evernote in my course, Evernote for Beginners. Find out more about that at davedwardsmedia.com and click on Courses.